Hey folks, it's Shane from Form CV. Today we're unboxing some new parts. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. So for those of you new to this channel, this is my little spot on YouTube where I put, uh, well, basically convert fun and interesting cars into electric. And for that, you need parts. So today we're gonna be, I guess, depalloting is probably a better term. Uh, some parts that I'm planning to use in the Beetle project once I get that properly off the ground. Um, so yeah, let's go around to the front of the garage and take a look. You'll have to excuse the state of the garage at the moment. Uh, been remodeling the bathroom and had to store all the parts out here while doing that. Uh, so not a huge amount of space for EV components, but we're nearly done with that. And get back to uh, normal programming. So if we take a look at it from the top, not a huge amount to see, uh, just the, the top lid um, totally sealed, nothing coming through. Nice big sticker on it saying it's a lithium ion battery and be careful. If we look down the sides, uh, not really very much going on except for some mounting points. Um, likewise, the back is pretty sparse as well. But if we head down the front, we've got all the connections. So on this kind of left hand side, as I'm looking at it, uh, we've got a vent, uh, just important thing on any battery, just to make sure uh, air pressure in there doesn't uh, go crazy. And then we've got connections for, I guess, anything low voltage. So this will be 12 volts to power any of the internal modules and then things like can communication and that sort of stuff. Um, we'll see those wires a lot more when we get inside it. And then if we go over the far side, we've got the key uh, connection, which is our high voltage. Um, interestingly, there's no uh, safety kind of disconnect in the middle of this, like there is on the leaf one. Um, it is just uh, all controlled via the contactors inside. And again, hopefully we'll get to see those a bit more soon. All right. Let's just get into this. All right, so in terms of what keeps the lid on the battery box, there are 49 uh, what appear to be T39 Torx um, screws. So we'll just go and get them all undone. All right, so that's all the screws out. Um, let's see what it's like inside.
very neat looking system we've got in here. Uh, I'll take you in for a closer look of everything in a second. So you've got basically three modules on each side. Um, all appear to be identical. Uh, they're all numbered. Then you've got um, what appears to be the main, the BMS master just here, um, which is wired into all of the um, modules via a slave uh, module here and then the slave goes out to each of the individual cells and then we've got uh, our high voltage junction box over that side and then we've got um, AC coolant pipes running through here so it's obviously an AC cooled system. But yeah let's go in for a closer look. Okay so this appears to be the um, where it all starts because number one Module number one seems to be underneath this one. Then we've got two, three, and it goes over here, four, five, and six is underneath number four. Um, and in terms of cables and cable routings, it all goes ultimately through the high voltage junction box here. So if we think of either power going in and going out, we've got these plastic uh, coated cables um, which are wired to the high voltage connection uh, which will go out to our motor go out to any charger all through there and then you've got the internal routings uh, going from the the main contactors through to the positive terminal on number six there and what appears to be the negative terminal on number one back over here and then between each um, each module you've got the same thickness of cable going in uh, basically wiring them all up in series then it looks like our coolant comes in just under here I missed that when I was looking at the outside and goes to the various coolant plates which are underneath the modules um, and then we can see the um, the low voltage signal wiring moving about the place um, going to things like the high voltage box going to the BMS slaves and yeah all in all, pretty neat. Okay, so I want to check the condition of the battery as a whole, and then I want to, we'll disconnect the individual modules and we'll check each of them as well. Um, so in order to check the battery as a whole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the positive and negative um, wires that are coming from the the first and sixth modules and use a multimeter to check the voltage so these are all really nicely made uh, to try and reduce the chances of anyone accidentally shocking themselves So I don't know if you can see it there, we've got 341 volts. I think that's pretty good. I think the, the nominal voltage of this one is actually a bit lower than the, than the leaf. So I think like 350 or a bit higher than that is fully charged, which is uh, really good. All right, I'll put these back, keep everything nice and safe, and then we'll look at the rest. All right, so the two modules I checked there just randomly both came out exactly 57.15. So it's looking pretty well balanced at the moment. All right, so pretty cool what I've seen so far. I do want to go further with taking this apart, but I'm I'm not sure I have enough time right now to, um, to fully tear it down. So I'm going to pause here, um, having kind of seen what the 
the the battery pack itself looks like and how it's put together overall um, and then we'll pick up from there and go dig deeper on it in the next video uh, do a proper tear down basically just take all the components out of the box um, and see what what makes this up but yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, if you like this sort of thing please and you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing um, comments and likes always appreciated but uh, till next time thanks for joining us and I'll see you soon